hello hope you're doing well in this video we are going to set up airflow directory in the last three videos we saw how to install windows subsystem for linux then we installed python on linux and we set up the virtual environment now we are going to see how to set up airflow directory so in the last video we activated the airflow environment that we created now for setting up the directory what we do is we type cd slash make sure you are at the root directory okay so type cd slash now type or oh, you can see the list of folders and files here with this ls command now we need to go to this mnt folder cd mnt slash c slash users now we check with this command once again what's there now you can find your own username in your system with this command i'm going with youtube which is my username uh, so it could be different for you you don't need to type youtube here it should be different for you so i'm going with youtube you can have your own username now we create a directory for airflow now mkdir command is used for creating a directory and the directory name that we want to keep is airflow now press enter okay the file already exists okay so you can create i have already created it so it's giving me uh, an error so it already exists for me now let me go to cd airflow now every time you need to work with airflow you go to this directory and then you start working and which is a very complex and hectic process so what we can do is we can set up an environment variable for it so for that we use the nano editor and we open this file uh, tilde sign slash dot bash rc press enter now this should appear now here you can use your keyboard mouse won't work properly here so make a room here now type airflow home this is the variable name that we will use as a reference so equals to mnt mnt slash user c slash users slash youtube in my case then airflow now for saving this file we press ctrl s first then we press ctrl x to exit now for confirmation let me open this file again yes it is saved you can see Contr press ctrl x once again now let's get back to the root directory and check this variable cd now we type here the dollar sign before that that variable name that we set there airflow underscore home it should take us to that location yes if it is not taking you first of all check any uh, if there's any spelling mistakes if all is fine then you should restart your uh, ubuntu for uh, it and it should work now this is for it for this video now in the next video we are going to install airflow in this directory so finally that moment is coming in the next video so stay tuned thank you